Welcome. Let me talk about Pythagoras' theorem for a moment. If you recall, Pythagoras' theorem states the following. If you're given a right triangle, it's, he claims if we draw squares on its three sides, square one, square two, not very squarish, but you know what I mean. Whoops, that doesn't even look like a two. And square three, whew, very bad picture. That the area of square one plus the area of square two equals the area of square three. We make children say that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Of course, that's really losing the sight of the fact this is a theorem about geometry. This is a theorem about side, the squares on the sides of a triangle. But here's my question. This area 3 decomposes into areas 1 plus area 2. So I claim it's possible to find a point P, let's say, call it there, on the hypotenuse in such a way that it splits this area 3 into two regions. One that happens to have area 1 and one that happens to have area 2. I wonder where that special point P is exactly on the hypotenuse of the triangle. So rather than uh, watching the rest of this video, you might want to play with this for a little bit, pause for a moment, or I'll just give away the answer in just a moment. I'm giving you three seconds to pause if you need to. Eins, zwei, drei. Okay, here goes. Let me give it away. Where's that point P? All right, so I just need to go back and talk about some properties of right triangles for a little moment uh, in order to get everything squared away in this video. First of all, uh, let's draw this thing again. Whoops, where's my pen? You're listening to me talk to myself. Sorry about that. All right, I'll follow the classic labeling. Legs A and B, hypotenuse C. And there's a result here about the altitude to the hypotenuse. Let's call that length h. Uh, let's get a formula for it. I'm going to work out the area of this triangle two ways. First of all, I'm going to treat c as the base and h as the height, in which case the area of the triangle is half base times height. It also equals the area of the triangle for regard b as the base and a as the height. Half base times height. Well, there we have it. Cancel out the halves, divide by c. h is actually a times b divided by c. So there's the formula for the length of the uh, altitude of a right triangle, at least the altitude to the hypotenuse. Now, a quick little, oh, let me write AB over C. If I want to, I can now work out this fuzzy edge here by doing Pythagoras' theorem on this little triangle to the upper right. Uh, this A squared must equal H squared plus this quantity squared. Do a quick little bit of arithmetic, and I believe you find this turns out to be A squared over C. Uh, you might just double check me on that. And at the same token, I could work out this length here. And it turns out to be, just to do a quick application of Pythagoras, something squared plus AB over C all squared equals B squared. It turns out this is the right quantity, I believe. All right, so I know all the pieces of a right triangle when I draw an altitude this way. Well, actually, I'm now more set to go. Uh, da, da, da. I claim this point P at the base of this altitude is the one, whoops, where's my pen gone? Is the one that divides area three appropriately. He goes, here's area one, has area a squared. Here's area two, running off the page, has area b squared. And here's area three. And if I draw this line here, I claim the area of this left piece is actually a squared, and the area of this right piece is actually b squared. Well, how do I know? Well, this whole length here is c. In fact, you can check a squared over c plus b squared over c would equal a squared plus b squared over c, but a squared plus b squared is c squared. Yep, I'm right, it is c. So this is c, and this is c, in which case this area here on the left is a squared over c, this length times c is a squared. Yep, that's area one. This area on the right is its base times height, da, 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 is indeed b squared area two. Voila. The special place that divides area three into the two appropriate regions is the base of the altitude of the right triangle. Now here's a little snazzler for you, a little, little bit of exercise. Who says you have to draw squares on the sides of a right triangle? What if I took a right triangle and on each side drew an equilateral triangle, area one, equilateral triangle, area two, equilateral triangle, area three. My first challenge to you is to prove that area one plus area two still does equal area three. This version of Pythagoras theorem actually holds. And your challenge is to find the location of a special point P on this hypotenuse that splits this third area into areas equal to that of 1 and 2. I bet you can do it. And why stop at equilateral triangles? You're now on a whole research path here of how to split uh, given shapes on the sides of right triangles in the appropriate way. Sounds like a lot of fun. Enjoy it. Thanks.